I still don't understand how those just like weird. What? Uh, right. There's no power to them. What are they connected to? So I don't think we're ever gonna play Lost World, or if we ever do, it'll be a long time from now. So, I'm, uh, so I'm just gonna ask you now. What do you think of Zavok? Oh boy. All right. So. The thing with the Lost Zeti, the Lost Zeti, most of them have good designs, including Zavok. They're, ba they're based on Japanese Oni, aka Ogres. I don't think a lot of people know that. Right, and the thing is, it's like, the designs of them are good, but, I don't know, it's just like, I think that's all they have to them, it's just good design. Because apart from their design, their character developments or character plot points, however you want to say it, they're just not that good. It's just like, yeah, we're evil and we're just gonna take over stuff because we yeah. know there's other planets to take control of now. I think that if they had a better story, because they're just Koopaling knockoffs to a lot of people. They really are. And Zabok's all like Bowser. I like the idea though, and I will give the meta era credit for this. I'm giving a credit for this. I like how they tried to expand Sonic's rogues gallery and not just have Eggman. They were trying to add other villains like Zavok, Deadly Six, Infinite, even that lyric stupid shit. They were trying to give Sonic more villains, which I'll commend that. Because I think Sonic should have more villains. Oh yeah, they definitely and, should. Well, you know, Spider-Man has tons of villains. So, it, it, I think it's a cool idea to give Sonic a rogues gallery. I just think the villains they've made, though, the comics have done that great because... Example, I really like Surgeon Kit from the IDW comics. Everybody likes Surgeon Kit. <laughs> Everybody likes Surgeon Kit. Isn't that right, Mr. Monkey Boy? <laughs> Don't open my DMs. <laughs> We're talking about one of our boys. Maybe he's watching this. Oh yeah, he hates Force. <laughs> yeah, he does. I understand why he hates it. He has good reasons, honestly. For, like, I understand the reason that the fan base doesn't like the game. I get it. I, I agree with a lot of it. I just, it's got customization of the avatar. That's cool. They don't have that in other games. That's why I'm. That's why I like it. If they make an, I said, if they make another game and they put the avatar and they make it better, okay, this game lost what makes it super special. But for now, it's the only game with that, and so it's like Adventure Two having the Chow Garden. And watch this. Jeez, he's heavy. He died. More like disintegrated. Disintegrated. But I think that Zavok could have been a cool villain if they just gave him a better story. A lot of the other complaints, though, is that he just doesn't fit in with the characters. I mean, he's not supposed to. He's from a different planet. That's he's from the Lost Hex. That's a good point. He's not a Mobian. That's a good so point. He's, a, he's not going to fit in completely. He's a Oni. He's a Zeti. Exactly. He's a literal monster. Okay. He's a freaking... He's a Bowser... Monster. See, that's my other problem with Zavik. He's too much like Bowser. Yeah, he's literally just Bowser 2.0. I mean, he literally has the ability to grow and shrink whenever. That's the well, biggest not really thing. shrink, but he can grow he into can, a giant. He can grow into a giant, and yet that's the thing. Not only that, he can crawl through lava like it's nothing. Like, that's obviously Bowser's whole thing. Yeah, <laughs> Bowser, that's Bowser's thing and not freaking... I think the problem with him is just unoriginal. It feels like they're just trying to copy Mario. That's the one problem another with, thing with the meta era. The copying of Mario. Like, why do you guys gotta copy Mario? Like, Sonic... To me, Sonic should not be like Mario. No, honestly, I think Sonic's better than Mario because they stay away from doing what Mario does. Yeah. So that's what they should keep Ma doing. Mario's biggest problem is that... Continue. Uh, sorry. I, I, he's talking and distracting me. But Mario's biggest problem is that it's just kind of basic. It's cookie cutter. And so at least these games have something different going yeah, it's on. It's not even them. a cookie cutter. It's a cookie cutter in the shape of a star that's been reused over yeah. and over again. I think Sonic should have, like... One reason why I always like Sonic better than Mario is just the stories are more interesting. The world's more interesting. It's more than just a video game character. It's like, a you know, he's a multimedia character. I think that's cool. Yeah, exactly. You know... 
it's got more story, it's got more character, and that's why I like Sonic better than Mario. It's just more interesting. And it's more anime. <laughs> oh yeah, there's also that. Like, there's literal, literal anime of Sonic, so. It's got an anime, Sonic X. That's how I got into it. Sonic X! Another thing I like the fan base hates. <laughs> I like Sonic I X. Like, why, why hate Sonic X? Sonic they, X is so good. They hate it because of Chris, I think. I mean, I understand that. Just ignore him. Just ignore him. <laughs> Just focus on the freaking other characters. Man, I was, I was, so was re-watching recently the episode with Sam and Amy when <laughs> freaking they go out together and it's so funny. That part where Sonic goes, sorry I'm late! And then S S he's like, I'm ready to race. Sam and Amy just gets <laughs> completely freaking ghosted. Yep. That part is so funny. I'm just like, oh my god. Oh, Amy, when did you get here? <laughs> okay. Oh, the King Boom Boo shirt. King Boo Boo. Oh, ribbons. ribbons! We need the ribbons. Ribbons. Her name is Ribbon. You gotta put the ribbons, ribbons on Ribbon. Ribbon. Ribbons on Ribbon. Since I've seen a friendly face. Hey rookie, you still in one piece? Oh sure. Don't even bother to ask how I am. I just wish the characters would actually talk, like yeah. even a little bit. Just a little bit. I wish you could like. I wish you know those little cutscenes where they're just kind of talking. I wish you could have options like in Persona. For what your character could say, yeah, the that text be, options. The text options. I think that'd be cool. Because the thing is, they don't have they, a lot of voices in here, so it'd be easy. They for them to do need it. to return the avatar and like fine tune it. Oh, they absolutely have to. Imagine if that's what, uh, like an extra thing in Frontiers. Oh, please! Like please. imagine you beat Frontiers and as soon as you beat the game, it's like, congratulations! You just unlocked the ability to make your own custom character. I would play it all the time. <laughs> Guys, I'm a sucker for the custom character stuff. It's oh, amazing. Man. You know what else that just reminded me of? Hmm. How you can change the voice of the, the you can change the character who talks on the screen from Adventure. Yes. <laughs> what? You don't like me anymore? <laughs> Select your character. Select a stage. <laughs> oh my god, I remember that. Sure. Oh yeah, the freaking. Okay, nobody. Re All right, whatever. Turn me. <laughs> you take the lead, rookie. And just make sure you take good notes. But why are Cream and Blade not in this game? See, I don't know why. Well, I can understand why Blaze isn't here, because she's in her own dimension. I... But Cream, like, yeah, where is Cream? I never really thought about that. Like, because imagine her and Ribbon met. <laughs> <laughs> They're both yes, that's all you want is the rabbits to me. Yes. What the freaking ribbons on? Hi, I want to give her this. I want. I like seeing adorable characters interact because it's like adorable. All right. Anyways, nah, she doesn't need glasses. I already said that. I'm sorry. I'm just. I'm just checking everything. There you go, ribbons. ribbons. I want to look at the forward because. What do you think of these? Or do you think? Nah, it, nah. I still think the other ones, the other work, ones better. work better. Yeah, I was. Alright, nah, none, none of these work. And then, we don't need bodysuits. This would just give her this, but nah. Nah, we don't really need that. She's cute. She's supposed to be kawaii. If you guys see my OCs, they're all very, very kawaii. <laughs> See, I like how they did the tag team thing in here. That's what, oh that yeah, that actually I, worked I was, out. I was gonna say, that's the one thing I was gonna say. Okay. Double boost! What if they brought back the character and you could cut, you could go into tag team with any other Sonic character? Just imagine that. Just imagine teaming up with different Sonic characters with your OC. Like, That'd be pretty sick. I was thinking of that and I'm like, imagine they brought back this feature also. So many good ideas. Gotta have SBO with mine. Oh my god, Espio and Evan, yes. <laughs> Gotta have Espio with me. You and you and Espio will get along really well. Okay. Yes, I know that. I'm gonna try doing this. So many rings! So many rings! So many rings! Oh, there goes the rings. 
<laughs> oh, 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 so many rings! Rings. Even more rings! Yeah, that's really a lot of rings. You went from like 150 to 600. I know. In that one section, that's too. A, that's a shortcut. I've, I've played this level. I know how to beat this level really easily. I mean, a lot of people, too. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty easy. This game is not hard, I will say. But No, it's really not. But it's so much fun. I don't care. <laughs> I like this damn game. I'm going to get so much hate. I'm going to get so much hate. Why do you like this game? You're awful. <laughs> <laughs> Swanked it.